With PicaFrames, you can now upload up to five input images, set transition times between one to five seconds for each shot. So with this, you can make your character come alive and fly through the scene. Design high quality professional ads for any brand you like with full visual control from start to finish. Tell a complete story with full control over your character, camera and the world they move through. And create stunning seamless transitions that connect your shots into one smooth cinematic flow. And you can even land in the scene and speak with perfect lip sync. Enter if you dare. And I still at peace with your soul. Before diving into how all these shots were made, I want to let you know that I'll also show you how I created all the sound effects using a new mind-blowing image to audio tool that turns visuals into cinematic sound effects. And a quick note on the talking part, I used Runway's first frame for lip sync, then stitched it together with the Pika Frames video. And in this tutorial, I'll explain that in detail. Okay, let's dive into the Pika multi-frame tool. And for that, we need to click here on the Pika Frames. We then have to select the More Frames button, and now we can select up to more than five frames. And now I'll select my first image in here and my second image in here. So for my intro shot, I used four images. You can now adjust the transition duration between each image by clicking here and selecting between one and five seconds. I'll leave it set to two seconds. Then you can enter your prompt in here. And I tried things like an astronaut woman flying through an overgrown cityscape, which gave some good results. But in my experience, leaving the prompt box empty and carefully composing your input images is often a more reliable way to guide the transformation. As you can see here, where I kept my character the same size while zooming in on the background. This helps create a smooth zoom and flying transition. Now you could potentially change the duration and add a prompt between every shot. I'm only going to add this prompt in here, hit apply and then hit generate. As you can see, I've made several versions and this is the one I liked the most. It's like building a storyboard and watch AI turn it into a cinematic video. Now, if you want to know how I created the images, make sure to check out this video where I use the powerful open art image editor and its incredible creative upscaler. In that video, I didn't show how I made this flying astronaut. So after I show you how the other Pika videos were created, I'll show you how I did this. But first, I want to quickly show you how I created the audio and sound effects with the new tool in OpenArt. So here we go to the video tab. Now I can drag an image into this area, select the auto sound option, and I can enter my prompt in here. Sounds from an astronaut flying with a rocket engine. So what this tool does is turn your image and prompt into a full video with amazing cinematic sound effects. You can also adjust the duration and I'll set the quality mode to pro. You can even add negative prompts. So I'll enter no talking here and then hit create. As you can see, I created several sound effects for each video. Often it takes a few retries to get the result you're aiming for. Sometimes the sound just doesn't match exactly what you had in mind. But this one turned out to be my favorite for the flying astronaut. I mean, listen to this. This is just amazing. This makes my workflow as a creator so much easier and you even get an incredible video with it as well. Let's listen to another one I created. And for me, this is just mind blowing. It fits perfectly with the video generated in Pika. One last one before we move on, because it's just too good to leave out. Do I need to say more? I just love this new tool. Now let's see how the other Pika videos were created. At the bottom, you can see the keyframes from left to right. This video was created by Chen Effective and contains 15 keyframes in total. Before we watch the video, a big thanks to all the creators who shared their keyframes images with me. They're also open to sharing their text to image prompts. Just ask them in the dedicated post to help boost their amazing work. Here are the next keyframes. They were created by It's1510. And here are the next keyframes, created by Elaine Anjos. And here I wasn't able to get the keyframes, but by now you probably get the idea. These were created by Falcao. To create the same outfit for the flying astronaut, I used two frames in Pika. The first frame was left empty. The second frame was my original half body shot of the woman. Then I entered the prompt, an astronaut wearing an exosuit is flying to the scene and set the transition duration to three seconds. This resulted in this video. And from that, I selected the best frame with the outfit. In the fusion tab of DaVinci Resolve, I then composited everything together and overlaid the crisp close-off face from the half body shot onto it. 
So in this video I show how to restyle your character and combine a Pika Frames video with a Runway video. And in this video my YouTube buddy Tao Prompts shares more great Pika Frames techniques.